President Trump set to unveil a trillion dollar infrastructure plan in the coming weeks, but chaos in Washington, D.C. may be stalling his agenda. Our next guest works on the president's manufacturing initiative, All Tech Incorporated Chairman and CEO Lee Steislinger III. Uh, are you worried now about all the news that's happening and, and all the question marks uh, revolving about now the timing of the President Trump's agenda? Well, for, first and foremost, let me give you a little background on the president's manufacturing initiative. It's focused on four areas, beginning with deregulation, workforce of the future, infrastructure and tax and trade. So the overall approach is to have business leaders from throughout the country work in coordination with cabinet members and the president in order to help push forward initiatives that will help bring back jobs and help grow our economy. And we're making good progress on, on many fronts, one of those being infrastructure. Well, on the infrastructure part, uh, even that may run into some hurdles, uh, not just because of the controversies that seem to be surrounding the White House these days, but also uh, sort of uh, ideological infighting amongst the Republicans themselves and questions on how you get this thing paid for. Last I heard, uh, the public-private thing was being pushed, maybe a one-to-five ratio where the government puts in $200 uh, billion and the rest is raised through private efforts. Is that where we're going here? Well, I think there's, there's a couple of things on infrastructure. First and foremost, infrastructure is a nonpartisan issue. I mean, when you, you know, we daily are dealing with traffic congestion, aviation congestion, water congestion on bridges we all and suffer, on but, waterways. But I get your point, Lee, but I just want you to, to, to help me out here. I know we all suffer yeah. from the same potholes, but how are we going to yeah. get it fixed? <laughs> Uh, we're we're, we're going to get it fixed, uh, first and foremost, through initiatives that, that focus on the huge economic impact that putting one dollar of investment has a three dollar positive economic impact on GDP growth. So one dollar invested equals three dollars in GDP growth. That in any mathematical equation is a no-brainer. Yeah, that, that, that would seem to make it an easier sell. Uh, the, uh, you, you, your company, your telecom, you, do, uh, the lecture, you work with utilities, uh, you, do, you work in a hundred different countries. So obviously yeah. you understand the regulatory hurdles because I don't think that gets enough attention here uh, with respect to infrastructure and some of the other agenda items on, for President Trump. How do we address those beyond the executive orders? Because if it takes you 10 years to get a project through, yeah. then you never get that economic uh, payback. That, that, that's a great point, and let me tell you what, what we're working on at the White House with deregulation. We've identified the top ten regulations that stand in the way of job growth and identified ways to work with Congress in addressing those top ten. Now we're working on the second top ten so that by addressing the top twenty and then we'll go from there, regulations that stand in the way of job growth that will clearly have an impact on infrastructure investment and the ability for us to compete with the likes of China and, and, and countries that, that are investing huge amounts of dollars, significant sums, in their infrastructure. They're putting up new airports, right. they're putting up new, new uh, roads, highway systems. We have to be doing the same because it's, it's, it's a, it makes us more globally competitive and it makes perfect economic sense. It's bipartisan. So clearly there are going to be ups and downs in terms of, in terms of uh, tensions between the Republicans and the Democrats, but this is one area of common ground that, that right. the White House and, and, and the President is focused and, on. And to your point, if you thought those potholes or something, uh, everyone cries when they have to go through LaGuardia. We have uh, Zane Tankle here.